high second grade. So last time we learned about population and population density. And today we're gonna put that together and focus on the question, what are population and population density and how do they relate to each type of community? All right, so think for a moment. Remember a time when you were in a crowded place with lots of people. Think about where you were and what it felt like being around so many people. Think about what you were doing. So imagine yourself. You may have imagined yourself somewhere in New York City because I'm thinking, why do you think the population density is the greatest in New York City compared to all other parts of New York? Let's kind of brainstorm some reasons. Well, first of all, New York City is urban. And in the last video, we learned that urban areas have the highest population density. There's more jobs in New York City. New York City has more transportation. It's easier to get around. You don't need a car. You can get to things that you want to do. And there's plenty or more apartments and places to live. And there are tons of activities of all different types and things to do for fun. So people want to come to New York City. They want to live there. So because so many people want to come and work in New York City, it's the most populated. It has the largest population density. Now let's look at another community. All the areas outside large cities like New York City are suburban. Remember the suburbs, what they look like? Suburban areas have a smaller population density than urban communities, but more people live in the suburbs compared to rural communities. There's not as many jobs or types of jobs as an urban community, so most people have to travel to the large city for work and for fun activities. Remember the suburban communities we saw outside of Seattle too? They travel into Seattle for work, but they live in the suburbs. It's not as easy to get around. Most people have cars and the houses have more space around them and only hold one family. Although there are some apartments in the suburbs, less people live in one building so there's less people. It's a less densely populated. So now think about a time when you were somewhere that was not as crowded as New York City. What was that like? Have you been somewhere like that? Where were you? So let's think, why do you think the population density is the lowest in other parts of New York? Let's go back to our map. Remember when we looked at this map in the last video and we noticed that the light yellow is the least amount of people, less than 74,000 people. Why is the population density so low in these areas? Let's see what these places look like. Well, they're rural. So what makes rural communities have less people? Well, there's much more nature than there is people, right? And we learn that rural communities have the smallest population density. There's not as many jobs and there's not as many types of jobs. So a lot of rural communities have one type of job that is for the whole town or there's lots of farms, people are farming and they don't need as many people to work as they do in offices or factories in the city. It's not as easy to get around. There's a lot of small roads. You definitely need a car. There's usually not any other kind of transportation. And there's not as many places to live because there's more space in between the houses. And there's less different types of activities to enjoy. So you might be able to hike or maybe if there's a lake, 
to around. You can go boating on it. But in a city, you can do so many different kinds of things besides just one or two things that the rural community has in that small town. So looking back on our focus question, what are population and population density? I hope that you're understanding those two words and their meanings. Population are the people who live in an area and the density is how many people are living in that particular area and how do they relate to each type of community. So when you think of the three types of communities, how does that relate to them? All right, second grade, I'll see you next time.